welcome back to Starfield. Man, this game's got some problems. You know, they had a they had a patch, which I don't know, from what I'm seeing didn't patch anything. This is gonna be a short video. I just wanna document and we'll see if it works, the problems I'm having. I can't at this moment I cannot fast travel or travel in any way shape or form to my outpost which as you've seen in previous videos has got a lot of you know I mean not a lot of stuff people put way more stuff than I've got in it, but I've got a lot of time in it because I don't know what the hell I'm doing and I'm learning it so let's just see if we can get there um, there's a couple things I'm gonna try Let's just go right to the cockpit here. Well, actually, let's not even go to the... Let's go... It says it's inaccessible. Why is it inaccessible? Why is my ship inaccessible now? Oh, my God. This is nuts. Good day, Captain. Now I can't get out of my ship. Let's try going to the cockpit. So what happened? Did the ship kind of destruct? I mean, did the ship kind of dismantle itself? It's still here. All the parts. Is, is it still down there? It's still there. This is all still here. don't know what's going on. Let me do a save real quick right here. I'm going to do a hard save on this one. Let's see if I could overwrite the one I had. Had an exit save. Here, this one here. I'm going to hard save over this one. As noted, you can see the game is just freaking weird. Alright, let's go. Let's see if we can get to the outpost. Man, and I don't know, but that's this track record for fixing their games isn't great. I mean, they don't have a really good track record for patching stuff. And Alright, so let's see if we can get to the outpost. I'm not gonna fast travel there. I'm going well, it's kinda fat. I mean, I'm just gonna I'm gonna rock it there. I don't know if if jumping there would be better. I have a couple things to try to get there if it doesn't work this way. So let's um let's load up my grav drive. Let's keep this. Let's just load up my grav drive. Hopefully I won't find any enemies. We're just gonna load up the grav drive with. So. And we're going to jump there, I guess. Let's just try that. We'll set a course. To Bessel 3. And we're going to jump. Big ship over here somewhere. 
We're not messing with him. I don't want to fight anybody. Let's go. Vessel 3A. Let's go to Vessel 3. Wait a minute. Let's scan this. I think I've scanned this already, though, didn't I? It's an extreme environment. What's out there? Aluminum. Lots of aluminum. And... What's this? Helium. Okay, we got helium there. All right, awesome. Anyway, let's go to... This is not my planet here, is it? Did it move? It has moved. That's weird now, because it used to be on the other side of the planet when you come here. Okay, this is even going to get weirder yet. Let's see if we can land here. Well, it looks like we're going to be able to land here, so... So much for me documenting the failures. Well, let's see what happens when we get there. I mean, not there yet, so... <clears throat> so it worked. Which is a good thing. Um, and... The rocks are gone. See, I think that's the problem with the game. You have all this procedurally generated stuff, and there are times when it will just generate materials or whatever right where you want to go. It'll just plop some stuff, you know, plop a rock on your landing pad or something, and you can't get there. Let's go look at the landing pad. Let's do a save here first. Quick save. Let's go look at my landing pad. See if I mean everything seems to be in order. Oh, there's a ship landing again. I don't know what kind that is. Go steal another ship if we want. While we're here, um, the one thing I did want to check on though is I have I modified. Which I was thinking maybe that had a, something to do with it. I modified some of my storage at my extractors. Because I was just farming XP. I have, what, eight, eight skill points. I have eight skill points. I was farming skill points. I have plans for those. We're not going to get into that right at the moment. But let's see... It doesn't look like the... looks like that one's got the added one. I added a couple of them at iron and cobalt. Because those kept coming up light when I was building my frames and my magnets. So the two here are, are still here. I added two here. Which area is this? Let's see. Let's go to modify. This is uh, cobalt, right? And they seem to be. I can't tell. See, that's kind of a bad thing. Be building these things like this, you can't really see what the dealio is here. And it wouldn't let me add one to the end because. Okay, so I got it is. It's going. It's connected from there to there, and from there to there. Okay, those are connected. That's good. Let's go to the iron one. I just can't believe that it worked. You know, as soon as, I, as soon as you go to record it, it's like, oh yeah, we're not gonna let people know how bad this is. But it's all over the internet. People, are, I mean, and it's not just this planet or this, you know, this location. People are having problems with their bases. Let me see. That's must be uh, over here somewhere. Let's look and see what this one is. You know, they haven't plant wherever you wherever they have an outpost they're having problems with it. Uh this is not it. It must be the one over here. It 
So it's kind of a pain in the butt. I don't know if they'll ever fix it. It's one of those things that, yeah, that's the one. Yeah, there I got an extra, two extra storage units over there. And it's one of these things that that's just going to rely on the community to fix. You know, and that just sucks. That's just, I hate that. Alright, so that one's connected there. That one's connected. They're all connected still. And this is iron, right? Iron, correct. And they're probably full. They should be full. So, let's go back to my workbench. Yeah, they look like they're all full. Let's go back to my workbench. Anyway, just to get you the Mantis. We're going to do the Mantis mission. That's going to be the next mission. I'm tired of step and fetch missions. I'm going to, uh, well, when I come back to the Mantis mission, I'll tell you exactly what I did with my skill points. I have s six skill points that I plan on using. I'm not going to really make a video of what I'm going to do with them because it's just going to be boring. I'm going to try to level up some stuff. Uh, let's see. But the rocks are gone. See, remember, I don't know if you remember, you look at a couple of videos ago, these ro there was rocks taking over this. And I don't know, maybe that had something to do with the update because they had, you know, they, they, um, one of the fixes on the update was to keep rocks from attaching themselves to your spaceship, which I've never had that problem, but it may have also fixed this. I don't know. And I don't know because I, what I had to do was I closed the game. And I literally closed the game down because I couldn't get to here, couldn't get here at all. So let's see what my stash is like here. See, it's obstructed, so there's something there's something weird here. I can't use this. Can I use this? No. Everything is obstructed here. All of my benches are obstructed. Everything's obstructed in here. Can I use the bed? So that means something happened underneath. I can use the bed. I can use that. Can I use this? So it's just in this hab over here there's something messed up. So let's do this. Let's reload it. It still may be messed up. I mean, I don't know. That is from, I believe, is from these procedurally generated objects that they have in the game. And see, there's nothing here. There's nothing blocking this thing. There's no rocks unless they're literally under the thing. Somehow. And I'm not moving this. You can't move it. I mean, if I could, if I could grab everything and move it somewhere, I would. Okay, so now, see it's... And my materials are all topped off. Aluminum, iron, lots of iron. See, iron and cobalt were always coming up short. Now cobalt is still, they're still coming up a little short here, but not too bad. All right, so short video about a rant that didn't happen, which I'm kind of good with that. Kind of glad I got back here and we were able to make a save here. Alright, so, I will tell you what I'm going to do with my skill points. What I'm going to do with my skill points, I have eight skill points. I'm going to 
And I'm not going to record this because it's just going to be boring. I'm going to go over to the simulator and I want to level up piloting. I want to be able to pilot a class C ship. So I'm going to lay, I'm going to web, do, 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 do. I'm going to level up these three skills. Piloting, ballistic, and targeting. Okay, I'm going to level those up. With those, that's, that's like six, two, four, six skill points. That'll leave me two left over, you know, to work on these. When we get to the Mantis mission, there's going to be a lot of guys there. I, I need, you know, two more skill points here, but this is going to be okay. We'll, we'll work on this. We can work this through pretty easily. The other one, not so much. You know, and there's another reason is I want to... I want to practice flying ships, and the best way to do that is in the simulator. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to run into the simulator and practice all that stuff because I suck at it. And I figure since I'm practicing, I might as well get credit for all of this stuff here. These, um... Challenges. Get credit for these challenges. Like this here, you know, okay, gotta, I gotta use it. I gotta deal 4,000 damage to enemy ships with ballistic weapons. Okay, cool. And I have to... Destroy 15 ships. So see, that's gonna take a little bit of time in a simulator, because you only get like, uh, one, two, maybe five ships, which is not bad. It's three times in the simulator. I think you only get five ships. Could be more than that. It could be six. So that'll take a little bit of time. And this one, same thing. I have to target them. I have to destroy them while targeting them. So I can do those two at the same time. All right, so... That's what's going to happen. I'm not going to record that because it's just going to be boring watching me play in the simulator. Um, let's see what's going on here. That's only 41% full. So what I want to do is, I think I have some stuff I need to throw in here too. Let's see. On the ship, I do because I stored some stuff on the ship. Resources. Here we go. What's what's in here? Nope. Water. I'll stick the water in there. I think that's it. Unless I have something on me. Ah, uh, resources. Let's see if I have any resources. I have two adhesive. Let's store that. And sealant. Okay. Now, I don't know if the adhesive or the, either one of those is going to... Yeah, I already went somewhere, so that's pretty good. Okay, good. And someone on, uh, you know, the all-knowing internet said you you really don't want to pull materials directly it messes it up if you pull materials directly from here you know directly from your storage bins it's not a good idea to do that now i'm still trying to figure out you know this whole the sealant is not a what's in here I have some helium, not much. 28, that's not bad. So, this one. The sealant's in here. I don't know where the sealant went. You know, who knows? I have no idea where it went. Yeah, I don't know where the sealant is. These are, well, these are not all full. Because I was, that's because I was, uh, um, building stuff, and it might have used some of the materials in here. This one's empty. This one's empty. But it's weird. I thought the last one was supposed to. He's supposed to fill up the last one first, or something. I don't know. Let's do this. Let's go on top. That's the best way to do this. This one is. 
Nowhere near full. I don't have any ceiling in here. Did I? Missed it. I have silver. No ceiling. Alright, let's go over here. Uh oh, go that way. What's in here? Titanium? No, iridium and uranium. Polymer solvent. Solvent, polymer. These are all solids because they're being extracted from solids. I don't know where the ceiling went. Did those already? I have no idea where the ceiling went. There it is. It's over there. So apparently sealant is a solid. <laughs> I don't know. That's pretty wonky, man. I tell you what, let's just to make this um, video more interesting than it is. You know, I don't know if that's possible or not, but let's go get that ship. See what's over there. See if it's worth taking. Where's it at? Is that it? No, that's not it, is it? It is. It's over there. Uh, let's go up on top of here and see where it is. I thought it was over there. I thought I landed over there somewhere. There it is. It's right there. Oh, no, that's not it. Alright, so maybe it is over there. That's pretty far away. That's not where it landed. I think that's my landing site. You need to I gotta find ship landing area. Where is it? I lost it. Maybe it's gone already. Maybe it took off. It's usually over in this area, though. It looked like a small ship. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know where it went. It might have taken off. I didn't hear it take off, but it might have. That kind of looks like it right there still. Because it is a small ship. We gotta get off of here, I guess. get it. Oh, that's a rock formation right there. Yeah, just to make this video more interesting. Unless it's not a really interesting ship. It looked like a small ship, and it still looks like a small ship because it barely shows up on a scanner. We sell it, maybe. I 
Looks like a very small ship. Maybe it's a sports car ship. A sports ship. Is that it? That's not it there. More rocks. Cave. That's pretty far away. Unless that's it right on the horizon there. It would be pretty small if it was. Yeah, underneath the horizon here. small ship or maybe it took off already it's gone okay well that sucks <laughs> so this is a ship landing site this is where they always land it already took off okay that's all right See if we can fast travel back. If there's any glitches on the way back, let's look. Uh, I ran pretty far though. Here we go. Uh, outpost. The bay and Let's just go to the outpost. See if it crashes. Nope, it didn't. It's not going to do it now because I'm recording. That's what's going to happen. Because I wanted to show people how it crashes so that they know I'm not a lunatic. But as you can see, things have changed here. So that may have something to do with it not crashing. Anyway, we're going to call it a video here. And I'm going to go train in the simulator. And when I come back, we're going to go do the Mantis mission. I so I decided to make another little video that completed my uh, flight training. And going back to the home base. So let's see if we can make it. Let's see if it works. Let's just go to the cockpit. And we're just going to blast off. I can just, I'm just going to tack this on to the end of the other video. About the base. Outpost glitches. Let's just see it. The moon is now on the back side of the planet. It used to always be, you know, right about here, I think. So this is different. So this has changed for some reason. I don't know why, but it has. So it looks like we're gonna land, because usually if you don't if you don't get this cut screen, if it just jumps right to the wonkiness, then you're not going anywhere. This looks like a landing screen to me. And we did. Okay, awesome. Now right, let's go inside our little patio here. So the rocks are gone. I, I don't know if that that must have had something to do with it, because the rocks were taking over this staircase here. Let's see if my uh, workbenches work or not. Nope. <laughs> <sighs> 
pretty crazy stuff, man. I'm telling you. So let's try and do a quick save and then reload. This is better than not being able to land here. This is manageable to an extent if you, if it works when you load it. And I have to be careful. I think my quick saves are starting to overwrite each other. Okay, so it's working now. Yeah, I have to be careful. I think my quick saves might be overwriting each other now, because quick saves will overwrite each other, but the hard saves will not. Let's see what my uh, current quick saves are. I have a quick save here, which I just did. An auto save at Jemison. So yeah, the quick saves are starting to overwrite each other. I don't know how many... What the capacity is here. I have no idea. Yeah, but it looks like the quick saves are overwriting each other. I did an auto save at Jemison. And we did a hard save there. Let's save that one. I don't want to overwrite that one. We have an auto save there. <laughs> Let's just make a hard save here. Oh, well, there's a quick save. So why did it not show to load that? Oh, I think it did. It didn't show the quick save I did at Jemison unless I did a hard save. I can't remember. Stupid. Let's just do another hard save here. I don't know what the limits are on that. We'll find out, I guess. Anyway, so signing off again from the wonky outpost video, which is not as wonky as it could have been. You know, the uh, those things getting weird is... And that may fix itself at some point. I don't know. <laughs> but we'll see. So if you're watching, thanks for watching. Appreciate it. See ya.